right, so let's do this gynecology question together and see how to approach it. We have a 47-year-old woman who comes in for a follow-up exam. Six weeks ago, she underwent a total abdominal hysterectomy, meaning that she removed the entire uterus and as you can see in this picture highlighted in orange total means re removing the entire uterus and the entire cervix all the way up till here up till here all right and bilateral salpingo ophorectomy means that she removed both her tubes and ovaries why is that the indication is leiomyoma uteri she's done that because of fibroids she has no history of abnormal pap smears Examination today shows a well-healing incision. Everything is good. Which of the following is the most appropriate next step regarding future pap smears for this patient? As you know, guys, since she's already removed the entire cervix, the entire cervical tissue that may or may not undergo malignant transformation, this woman no longer needs any form of pap smears. However, if she's undergone subtotal rather than total hysterectomy which means she's only removed the uterus and left part of the cervix called a stump that is of even higher risk of malignancy and this woman would still need frequent pap smears just like a normal person or even more frequently now annually is not recommended in only in certain age groups or certain high risk patients with let's say high risk sexual behavior patients who previously tested positive uh, had a dysplasia that i mean had a cim before patients with hiv because of immune suppression and high risk of malignant transformation or patients patients who have been exposed in utero to des diethylstilbestrol only those patients um, would need an annual pap smear. Otherwise, for everyone aged 21 to 65, the typical would be smearing every three years. All right, guys, I hope this video helped. Let me know what you think.